Hello students, today we will study unit number 4 which is electrical machines. So in this video we are going to understand the construction and working principle of squirrel cage induction motor. So I hope you are ready with your pen and paper. So without wasting much time let us start this video. So that uh, squirrel cage induction motor is a type of a three phase induction motor. Now that motor has two parts. First part is the outer part which is in the form of a hollow cylinder and which is stationary part and that stationary part is known as a stator. And on the stator inside of that certain windings are there. Windings means what copper coils are wounded that is known as windings. And that windings having star connection or delta connection so over here for the stator winding, I have considered this type of star connected three phase winding. Okay, that is known as what? That is known as a stator winding. Okay. Now, uh, to that stator, we are supplying three phase alternating current. So that is all about the talk of stator. Now we will continue with the next part, which is known as a rotor. Now over here, we are using squirrel cage rotor and in this this type of rotor it has two end rings these are the two end rings and between that two end rings cylindrical laminated conducting bars are short circuited yani unko chipka gaya chipka diya gaya hota hai okay now cylindrical means what that is marker that is cylindrical Cylindrical laminated conducting bar means what? That laminated means what? That that bar is not constructed in a single piece. We are taking small small pieces of the bar and between two bars we will apply the insulating liquid and after that we will connect all so that we will get the long length of the conducting bar. We are doing so. Why? Because we want to decrease the eddy current losses. So that is the meaning of laminated conducting bar. One more thing is that about that conducting bar that it is a skewed. Now skewed means what? That that conducting bars are located at some angle. They are not connected between that two end plates as parallel. Parallel nahi honge, kuch angle pe rakha hoga. Now due to that uh, skewing of this bar, angle pe kyo rakha hai? For that purpose, it has three advantages. First advantage is what? That uh, when this motor or that rotor will start to rotate at that time, it will produce very much less noise. First advantage. Second advantage is what? That when that motor will be operated, then it operation will be very much smooth. And last advantage is what? That uh, whatever interlocking of the flux is there between the stator and rotor, that will be reduced. Means what? That stator will produce some flux. Rotor will also produce some flux. So flux which is produced by stator and rotor both will not interlock with each other. So that jamming of water is not, that water is not present. Okay. So only because of these three reasons, they are located at some angle which is known as skewed, that conducting bar. <coughs> okay. Now that bar has one shaft, that rotor has one shaft also. So that is all about the talk of that uh, rotor. Now that rotor we are inserting inside of the stator. So when you will insert the rotor inside of the stator and from the front if you will see. So from the front this type of figure you can draw. From the front this type of uh, cylindrical shape that means circle you can see. And on that uh, stator that this type of windings are there. So these are the windings say RR dash, YY dash, BB dash. And inside of that we are inserting this uh, uh, rotor. So from the front if you will see. So that is the shaft of the rotor. And these are the conducting cylindrical conducting bars. Okay. Now that is all about the construction. Now we will move on with the working principle that how it works. Okay. So first is what? That first of all as I told you that three phase AC is given to stator. That means we will supply three phase alternating current to that stator. So what's happened that uh, due to that in all windings of the stator, these are the windings of the stator, all windings of the stator alternating current will start to flow. Now according to the Faraday's principle, what we are saying that if you have a conducting wire and from that if you will pass the current, so what's happened around the wire magnetic field will be produced. 
तो सिमिलरली इन ऑल दी वायर्स और यू कैन से इन ऑल दी वाइंडिंग्स करंट इज फ्लोइंग विच इज अल्टरनेटिंग करंट सो सो दैट अराउंड दिस ऑल वायर्स मैग्नेटिक फील्ड विल प्रोड्यूस एंड वी नो वेरी वेल दैट इन दी केस ऑफ थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर वॉट एवर मैग्नेटिक फील्ड आर देर दे आर रोटेटिंग आर देन जीरो वाई मैक्सिमम देन जीरो वाई जीरो देन बी सो लाइक दैट रोटेट इन दी in uh, whatever that uh, stator is there inside of that rotating magnetic field is produced so over here i have written that rotating magnetic field is produced now that field is variable also why because that field is produced because of what because of current current is which type of current alternating current alternating current means what it will change its magnitude and direction that means alternating current is a variable current so that is why due to the variable current variable magnetic field will produce that means inside of this stator variable magnetic field is present and in three phase induction motor rotating magnetic field is present that means inside of this stator rotating and variable magnetic fields are present okay now we know one principle which is known as electro magnetic induction which has been given by faraday so electromagnetic induction says what that whenever a conductor or conducting wire is subjected to a variable magnetic field at that time inside of the conductor current is induced similarly over here that rotor is present or that rotor is subjected to what it is subjected to a variable magnetic field and if rotor is subjected to a variable magnetic field that means inside of the rotor current is induced which type of current is you induced a variable current is induced why because these are the variable magnetic fields so variable magnetic field will induce variable current and due to that variable current now rotor will induced variable magnetic field that means rotor has which type of field rotor has variable magnetic field stator has which type of field stator has rotating variable magnetic field okay now that means inside of the stator uh, that the stator will produce rotating field rotor will produce variable field now stator is fixed it is stationary and rotor is free to rotate that means inside of the stator two magnetic fields will interact with each other or two magnetic fields will apply the magnetic force on each other that is stator stator will apply rotating magnetic field to the rotor rotor will apply the variable magnetic field to the rotating magnetic field but over here stator is fixed that's why all the effective magnetic which is rotating magnetic field will be given to the rotor so rotor will start to rotate so in this way rotor will rotate okay over here i have explained same thing symbolically over here that is star connection star connection for what for this winding that is stator winding that is coupled with what that is coupled with stator so uh, that uh, in the stator winding what's happen rotating field will be created in the rotor winding variable field will be created now rotor is free to rotate so all the rotating magnetic field will be imparted on the rotor so that rotor will start to rotate which has no winding so that is all about the construction and working principle of this motor now we'll understand the advantage and disadvantages advantage is what is construction is uh, simple weight is less cost is less maintenance is less efficiency is high heating effect is less why if heating effect is less because in the rotor we are not using any copper wire now next is this advantage that starting torque is less that means starting torque is less means what that if you want to start this motor at that time you have to supply more current then only it will start to rotate next is consumes more current during starting why it will take more current during starting because its starting torque is less and last is what speed control is not possible why because over here we are not using starting variable resistances that we are we were we will use in the case of slip ring motor so in this video only that much thing in the next video we'll discuss about uh, slip ring induction motor 
So now I would like to end this video. So till then, read hard, work hard. Thank you very much.